fans of the convertible Volkswagen might be feeling a little bit deflated at the moment. The Beetle Cabriolet is no more, and there aren't any plans to build a new soft top Golf either. Fear not though, because there is this, the VW T-Roc Cabriolet. It is, as the name suggests, a drop-top version of Volkswagen's funky-looking compact SUV crossover. And although that might sound like a bit of an odd combination, it actually makes perfect sense. VW reckons that 40% of its total output will soon be crossovers, so why not mix the body styles together and bring the convertible into the 21st century, especially when rivals are so thin on the ground? I mean, the Range Rover Evoque convertible would have been the obvious alternative if it hadn't been discontinued, so the T-Roc cab really is the only mainstream soft top SUV on sale today. But is it any good? Starting with its USP, the roof can be lowered in just 9 seconds at speeds of up to around 19 miles an hour. Meanwhile, the windscreen frame has been reinforced for extra strength, while, in the event of an accident, rollover protection is fitted as standard. There's two trim levels on offer, namely Design and R-Line, with standard equipment including the 8-inch Discover Navigation infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, dual zone climate control and adaptive cruise control. Whichever spec you go for, the Cabriolet retains an almost identical cabin to the SUV, which means exceptionally well laid out controls and clear instruments. Now, practicality has obviously been impacted by the conversion to Cabriolet, but you can get two adults in the back. Just bear in mind that it is tight for both head and knee room, and the middle seat has been removed as well. Walk around to the boot, and it's 161 litres smaller than the SUV version, but again, the remaining space is usable at 284 litres. On the move, the T-Roc Cabriolet's lack of a permanent roof means extra flex and shakiness in the overall chassis. As such, ride comfort is compromised, with the sportier R-Line suspension feeling out of place in a car that prefers to be driven slowly. Wind buffeting with the roof down is acceptable, although those in the back will undoubtedly bear the brunt. As for engines, it's petrol only in the Cabriolet. You either have a 1.0-litre three-cylinder unit with 115 horsepower, or a 1.5-litre four-cylinder with 150 horsepower. Both get a six-speed manual as standard, with a seven-speed DSG automatic optional on the larger engine. And it's that latter combination that makes the most sense. The extra power is needed, and the more relaxing auto adds polish. All in all, the VW T-Cross Cabriolet is perfect if you really need a relatively spacious soft top that stands out from the crowd. Otherwise, there are a ton of other drop-top options that are certainly worth considering. If you're looking to buy a VW T-Rock Cabriolet, then be sure to head over to the regularly updated Parker's Written Review and take advantage of the hundreds of new, used and leased deals advertised on the site. <laughs>